We use heat every day, cooking, heating water, and running engines. But have you ever stopped to ask, when you add heat to something, what really happens inside? Does the heat just disappear, or does it turn into something else? The answer lies in one of the most important laws of physics, the first law of thermodynamics. Let's understand this with a simple example. Imagine we have a gas cylinder with a movable piston. When we add heat to the gas inside, that energy doesn't just vanish. Some of it goes into doing work, like pushing the piston upward, and the rest increases the internal energy of the system. Now, what do we mean by internal energy? It's the total energy stored within the gas. The motion of its particles, their collisions and vibrations. In other words, it's the hidden energy inside the substance, and it depends mainly on temperature. So the heat we add is divided into two parts. One part is used to do work, and the other part stays in the system as internal energy. This is what the first law of thermodynamics tells us. In a closed system, the heat added to the system is equal to the increase in internal energy plus the work done by the system on its surroundings. Mathematically, this law can be expressed as the following equation. Here, delta Q is the heat added to the system, delta W is the work done by the system, and delta U is the change in internal energy. Now, here's an important question. Why is this law often called a special case of the law of conservation of energy? The reason is simple. As seen in our example, when energy is added to the system, it is not destroyed. It is simply transformed into work and internal energy. This follows the conservation principle, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed from one form to another.